Hi everyone, it's Kelly, and in today's episode of the Spring Weekend Diaries, I will take you along on my one-night backpacking trip in Olympic National Park. So Olympic National Park is located in Washington. It's west of Seattle on the Olympic Peninsula, and the National Park takes a good amount of the peninsula up, and it also contains parts of the coast. And we were headed to the Ho Rainforest for our backpacking trip. So the day before our trip, we went to REI to pick up our bear canister rental, and then we also packed our bags. So the reason why we had to get a bear canister is because that's where you store your food and scented items and trash when you go camping or like when you go backpacking. There were two ways that you could store your food. You could either hang them from a bear wire or get a bear canister and we opted for the bear canister option. And for those of you who aren't familiar with how a bear canister works, I learned for the first time during this trip. So on the lid, there are these two like ridges, I guess, that kind of prevent the lid from unscrewing completely. And so you'll have to like press down on those ridges so that the lid can unscrew. So that's what helps prevent bears and whatever critters from getting into your food and scented items. So the day of the trip, we drove north of Seattle to Edmonds to take the ferry from Edmonds to Kingston. And then once we were on the Olympic Peninsula, we had to drive basically around the north side and then go west. So on our way to the Ho Rainforest, we also stopped by Forks. And if you're not familiar with what Forks is, it is the town that Twilight takes place in. And 16 year old me would have had a great time <laughs> visiting this place. But I also learned recently that they have an annual Twilight Festival where people who are like diehard Twilight fans come together every year and just like celebrate their love for the book and the series, which is kind of cool. So we stopped in Forks because we grabbed food from this little bar and grill restaurant. And something that was pretty interesting from this restaurant was they had, you know, the usual like burger, fries and everything. They had chicken wings, but one of the flavors of chicken wings that they had were cinnamon roll chicken wings. <laughs> so we said that we had to try them and they were actually, they were pretty good. I was very surprised and I would get them again. I will have one in a sec. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> and we're off. So then we started our hike, our nine mile hike into the rainforest to get to our campground. The elevation gain wasn't that bad. It was only like 500, I think the sign said 573 feet. Something that was really cool about this trail was, well, first of all, it was interesting because it was super muddy, uh, which makes sense because it rained so much in the whole rainforest. Uh, but it was pretty funny for our group because we were like very careful with like trying not to get our feet too muddy and stuff. But just by the end of it, we just kind of said like, you know what, it is what it is. And <laughs> we just like ended up splashing through the mud and like getting our feet dirty. And yeah, we just fully accepted that our shoes would be muddy. These crusty shoes. Oh my God. <laughs> Or so another cool thing about this trail was just how green the rainforest was. And I think you guys already know that I'm like a fan of plants. And I'm also a fan of just like how green Seattle is. So the whole rainforest was like crazier and like way more green. Seattle gets about 37 inches of rain a year. And the whole rainforest gets about 144 inches of rain a year. So that makes sense why all the plants there are so happy and so green and so lush. It is so green here. 
Something that I thought was really cool was when you would just look at like one spot on the ground, you'd see that there are like a bunch of different types of plants there. So you'll see like the different moss and ferns and just like whatever other like ground covering plants there were. And then even when you looked up at the trees, like it just seems like it's a lot of trees, but then you'll realize there are a lot of different types of trees and they're freaking big too. <laughs> Five Mile Island is so pretty. Remember this. <laughs> Bear canisters. Required. Look at picture right there. This is so pretty. What the heck? Hi. Welcome to Toy Story. <laughs> <laughs> We're out here at Five Mile Island. <laughs> so we've been hiking for a little bit after Five Mile Island. Look at this big boy. That. Dang. We made it. I was scared. I thought we didn't know where we were going. But we're here, thank God. We did it. We did it. What you got, AK Bowie? Lasagna and meat sauce. It's 9 p.m. <laughs> it's 9, it 9 p.m. Yeah. It rained a little bit, but we still got light. What you got, Brandon? Got some beef pasta marinara. Nice. That was dinner. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Two cups of water. It's almost ready for dinner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still makes sense. Had the most. Damn. The next one. Good morning, world! It's Saturday morning, almost 7 a.m., and we're here at Olympus Guard Station in Olympic National Park. And it is a beautiful, beautiful morning. <laughs> Earlier, I showed you how the fog was rolling through the mountains, and it's so cool because you can see, like, it's just like this layer of fog, just like towards the base of the mountains. But yeah, I'm very thankful for no rain this morning. The forecast called for rain and last night it started raining so we went to sleep kind of early. So update on last night. We got to our campsite maybe at around seven something or so. Leading up to the campsite, once it hit like seven o'clock, I started getting worried because it seemed like we didn't really know where we were going. So I was like, dude, at what point should we just turn back? Because at least we know back there there's shelter, but ahead, like I know that that's where we're trying to camp, but also like how much further ahead is it? And we only have so much daylight left, but I'm thankful that our group did a good job because this campsite is so pretty. We entered into this grassy area with the guard station 
we saw like a baby deer or something and heard some sort of like wild bird, which kind of like freaked me out. And we didn't see like anybody at this point. And then we started going closer to the river because that's where uh, some campsites were. And we were like, well, we should try to camp near the river because that'd be super sick. And then we started seeing people, which made me feel a lot better. There were some open campsites and we found a perfect one with like two spots for a tent. So we were able to fit all of ours and then like a big fire pit ring with like some logs for seating, which we didn't really get to use because of the rain last night. Yeah, I wanted to wake up early this morning to just appreciate the mornings out in the wilderness because I feel like I've only gone backpacking once, but that's kind of like the beauty of backpacking is you get to enjoy these mornings just like out in nature. My only plan for today besides going home was to vibe by the river, read my book. been trying to chase that feeling since Idaho. So, I'm going to do that. Munching on it like it's corn on the cob. <laughs> Look at that. Keep going. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I appreciate you if you're here until the end with me. It was really fun making this one too because I got to like relive this whole trip and I am so thankful that we can see these beautiful places like this even on just like a one night backpacking trip. So that's another reason why I love living here. <laughs> If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. In general, I love just like sharing videos of our experiences living in Seattle and like exploring the Washington area. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment below if you have anything to say or ask. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.